Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to use Pinpoint software to filter your HL7 message logs as part of your interface troubleshooting tasks. Here's what you see when you open Pinpoint. The Trigger Events tab, the Segments tab, the Data Filters area, and the Messages area. We'll walk through the interface throughout this tutorial. Let's try filtering some messages. There are two ways to filter messages. You can focus on trigger events and segments, or you can filter on data values using data filters. Let's start with trigger events and segments. If you're looking for a segment, just click on the Segments tab up here, and you'll see a list of the segments in this message log. Let's say you're looking for the PID segments in this log. So you'd go ahead and make sure you clear your checkboxes and then just select the PID checkbox. And there you have it. The PID segments are down here in the messages area. You've just isolated the segments you need to focus on. It's the same basic procedure if you're looking for a set of trigger events. Click on the trigger events tab and let's say you're looking for patient admissions. So you clear your checkboxes and you select the ADT AO1s and you can see down here in the messages area you filtered out thousands of messages you're left with just 176 which is about 3 percent of the entire log. Now we'll cover data filters. Data filters are useful when you want to drill down. Let's say you want to isolate data for a test patient with an ID number you're tracking. Here's the ID number. You right click on the value, you select add data filter and there they are, the messages for this ID number. The strings are highlighted in red in the messages area and you created a data filter up here based on the patient ID. For more information on data filters, watch the data filters overview video in this video tutorial series. And that's been our tutorial on getting started with Pinpoint. Thanks for watching.